Attention Canadian seniors. Your financial landscape is about to change. In a groundbreaking announcement just five minutes ago, the government revealed significant increases to your CPP and OS payments. Stay tuned as we break down what this means for your wallet and your future. Exciting news has just broken for Canadian seniors, as the government has officially announced updates to the Canada Pension Plan CPP and Old Age Security OAS programs. These changes, which include substantial monthly payment increases, are set to have a significant impact on the financial well-being of older Canadians across the country. As we delve into the details of this breaking news, it's important to understand the context and implications of these modifications to two of Canada's most crucial retirement income programs. The Canada Pension Plan and Old Age Security are cornerstone programs in Canada's retirement income system, providing financial support to millions of seniors. The CPP is a contributory plan, meaning that working Canadians pay into it throughout their careers, while the OAAs is a non-contributory program funded through general tax revenues. Both play vital roles in ensuring that Canadian seniors can maintain a decent standard of living in their retirement years. The announcement of increases to these programs is a clear indication that the government is taking steps to address the rising cost of living and the unique financial challenges faced by older Canadians. Let's first examine the changes to the Canada Pension Plan. The CPP is designed to replace about 25% of a person's average work earnings, up to a maximum earnings limit. With the newly announced increases, retirees can expect to see a boost in their monthly CPP payments. This adjustment is particularly significant given the current economic climate, where inflation and rising costs have been putting pressure on fixed incomes. The increase in CPP benefits will help to offset some of these financial strains and provide retirees with more purchasing power. One of the key factors driving the CPP increase is the year's maximum pensionable earnings EMP, which is the maximum amount of earnings covered by the CPP. The YMP is adjusted annually based on the average wage in Canada. With wages generally on the rise, this has led to an increase in the YMP, which in turn affects the maximum CPP retirement benefit. This means that not only will current retirees see an increase in their payments, but future retirees can also look forward to potentially higher benefits based on their contributions to the plan. It's worth noting that the CPP enhancement, which began in 2019, continues to play a role in the overall increase of benefits. This long-term initiative aims to gradually increase the CPP retirement pension replacement rate from one-quarter to one-third of average work earnings. While the full effects of this enhancement will be felt by future generations of retirees, current retirees are also beginning to see the positive impacts of this change. Moving on to the Old Age Security Program, the announced increases are equally significant. The OAAs is a monthly payment available to seniors age 65 and older who meet Canadian legal status and residence requirements. Unlike the CPP, the OAS is not based on employment history, making it a crucial source of income for many seniors, particularly those who may have had limited opportunities to contribute to workplace pension plans or other retirement savings vehicles. The OAA's increase comes as welcome news to many seniors who rely heavily on this program to make ends meet. The boost in monthly payments will help address the rising cost of living, which has been a growing concern for many older Canadians. Essentials such as housing, food, and healthcare have seen significant price increases in recent years, putting strain on fixed incomes. This OS adjustment aims to alleviate some of that pressure and help maintain the purchasing power of seniors' benefits. One of the most notable aspects of the OAS update is the government's commitment to ensuring that the benefits keep pace with inflation. The OAS is typically adjusted quarterly based on changes in the Consumer Price Index CPI, which measures the average change in prices over time that consumers pay for a basket of goods and services. This indexation is crucial in maintaining the real value of OAS benefits over time. With the newly announced increases, it appears that the government is taking additional steps to ensure that OAS payments remain adequate in the face of rising costs. It's important to highlight that the OAS program includes a built-in protection for low-income seniors through the Guaranteed Income Supplement GEIs. The GEIs is an additional monthly non-taxable benefit for OAS pension recipients who have a low income and are living in Canada. While the details of any specific changes to the GEIs have not been fully outlined in this recent announcement, it's likely that any increases to the OAS will also positively impact GEIs recipients, providing extra support to some of the most financially vulnerable seniors in Canada. The timing of these increases to both the CPP and OAS is particularly crucial given the current economic landscape. Many retirees have been facing financial challenges due to the ongoing effects of the COVID-19 pandemic, 
which has led to market volatility and economic uncertainty. These pension increases can provide a measure of financial stability and reassurance to seniors who may have been worried about their ability to cover basic expenses or maintain their standard of living. Furthermore, these changes to the CPP and OS reflect a broader recognition of the changing demographics in Canada, as the population ages and life expectancy increases, ensuring the sustainability and adequacy of retirement income programs becomes increasingly important. The government's willingness to adjust these programs demonstrates a commitment to supporting the growing senior population and addressing the evolving needs of older Canadians. It's worth considering the potential long-term impacts of these increases on retirement planning for younger generations. While the immediate benefits are clear for current retirees, these changes also send a signal about the future of retirement security in Canada. Younger workers may feel more confident about the role that government pensions will play in their future retirement plans, potentially influencing their savings and investment strategies. However, it's important to note that while these increases are significant and welcome, they should not be seen as a replacement for personal retirement savings. Financial experts continue to emphasize the importance of a diversified approach to retirement planning, which includes government pensions, workplace pensions where available, and personal savings through vehicles like Registered Retirement Savings Plans RSPs and Tax-Free Savings Accounts TFSACs. The announcement of these increases also raises questions about the long-term sustainability of Canada's pension systems. As the population ages and the ratio of workers to retirees decreases, there will be ongoing challenges in funding these programs. The government will need to continue to monitor and adjust these systems to ensure they remain viable for future generations while meeting the needs of current retirees. One aspect that deserves attention is how these increases will affect seniors at different income levels. The progressive nature of both the CPP and OS means that these increases may have varying impacts depending on a retiree's overall income. For low-income seniors, even a modest increase can make a significant difference in their ability to cover basic needs. For those with higher incomes, the increases may provide additional financial flexibility or the ability to save for future expenses. It's also important to consider how these changes might interact with other aspects of seniors' financial lives. For example, increases in pension income could potentially affect eligibility for certain income-tested benefits or credits. Seniors will need to be aware of how these changes might impact their overall financial situation, including potential changes to their tax obligations. The government's decision to increase CPP and OS payments also reflects a broader societal recognition of the contributions that seniors have made throughout their lives. Many of today's retirees have worked hard for decades, paying into these systems and contributing to the growth and prosperity of Canada. These pension increases can be seen as a way of honoring that contribution and ensuring that seniors can enjoy a dignified and comfortable retirement. As we consider the implications of these changes, it's worth reflecting on the role of advocacy groups and organizations representing seniors' interests. Many of these groups have been calling for increases to pension benefits for years, citing the rising cost of living and the unique financial challenges faced by older Canadians. The announcement of these increases suggests that these advocacy efforts have been effective in bringing attention to the needs of seniors and influencing policy decisions. Looking ahead, it will be important for seniors and their families to stay informed about these changes and how they will be implemented. The government typically provides detailed information about pension adjustments, including specific dollar amounts and effective dates. Seniors should keep an eye out for official communications from Service Canada or the relevant government departments to understand exactly how these increases will affect their individual situations. For those approaching retirement age, these changes may influence decisions about when to start taking CPP benefits. The CPP offers flexibility in terms of when individuals can start receiving payments, with adjustments made based on whether someone chooses to take their pension early as early as age 60 or delay it up to age 70. The announced increases may factor into these decisions, potentially making it more attractive for some individuals to delay taking their CPP in order to receive higher monthly payments. It's also worth considering how these pension increases might affect intergenerational dynamics within families. In many cases, adult children provide financial support to their aging parents. The boost in CPP and OS payments could potentially alleviate some of this financial pressure, allowing for a redistribution of family resources or providing more opportunities for seniors to maintain their independence. The announcement of these increases also highlights the importance of financial literacy among seniors. Understanding how these changes will affect their overall financial picture, including potential impacts on taxes and other benefits, is crucial. 
This underscores the need for continued education and resources to help seniors navigate the complexities of retirement finance and make informed decisions about their money. From a broader economic perspective, the increase in pension payments could have a stimulative effect on the economy. Seniors with more money in their pockets may increase their spending on goods and services, potentially benefiting local businesses and contributing to economic growth. This could be particularly important in communities with large senior populations. It's also important to consider how these changes fit into the larger picture of retirement income reform in Canada. Over the past decade, there have been ongoing discussions and debates about how to best ensure retirement security for Canadians. These increases to the CPP and OS represent one approach, but they are part of a larger conversation about the future of retirement in Canada, including discussions about workplace pensions, private savings, and the overall structure of the retirement income system. As we digest this news, it's worth remembering that retirement income security is not just an economic issue but also a social and health issue. Financial stress can have significant impacts on mental and physical health, particularly for older adults. By boosting pension payments, the government is not only addressing economic needs but also potentially contributing to better health outcomes for seniors. The announcement of these increases also raises questions about regional disparities in Canada. The cost of living can vary significantly across different parts of the country, and these national pension increases may have different impacts depending on where seniors live. This highlights the ongoing challenge of creating national programs that can adequately address the diverse needs of Canadians across a large and varied country. As we look to the future, it will be important to monitor how these changes are implemented and what their long-term effects will be. Will they be sufficient to keep pace with rising costs? Will they need to be adjusted further in the coming years? How will they impact retirement planning for younger generations? These are all questions that policymakers, researchers, and the public will need to grapple with in the years to come. In conclusion, the announcement of increases to CPP and OAS payments represents a significant development for Canadian seniors. These changes reflect a recognition of the financial challenges faced by older Canadians and an attempt to address them through adjustments to key retirement income programs. While the immediate impact will be felt by current retirees who will see larger monthly payments, the implications of these changes extend to future retirees, the broader economy, and discussions about retirement security in Canada. As this news continues to be analyzed and its implications better understood, it's clear that it represents an important step in addressing the financial needs of Canada's growing senior population. However, it also serves as a reminder of the ongoing importance of comprehensive retirement planning, financial literacy, and continued dialogue about how best to ensure a secure and dignified retirement for all Canadians. As the details of these increases are further clarified and implemented, seniors and their families should stay informed and consider how these changes might affect their personal financial situations and retirement plans.